Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I will be showing you how you delete a component from your website in Webflow. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and open up the official webflow.com website right here and log into your account. After logging into your account guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can see all of the options that you can access in Webflow. Here I can see all of the websites that I have created on my account and here I even have the button to go ahead and create a new website if I want. But for today's video guys, I'm going to be using this website right here that I have created called YouTube Tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the website by clicking on it right here and now this will open up the website in the page. So as you can see at the left side of the page we have the option to add and start and add uh, what features and elements we want to our website. As you can see we have the option to add elements, we can see our components right here, we have the settings option and so on. And the right side of the screen allows us to style and edit those components and uh, features that we add to our website. As you can see we have element settings, the style option and so on. So let's go ahead and look at the left side of the screen. The first thing we want to do to be able to delete a component is go ahead and open up the components tab right here. Go ahead and guys and click on it and after click on it now this will open up the components tab and you will now be able to see a list of all the components that you have in your website. So as you can see here guys I have a couple of components right here. Now let's go ahead and click on the pencil uh, sign right here next to a component name. As you can see we have the option to either rename the component or to delete it but as you can see I cannot delete this one but I can delete this one. Let's go ahead as you can see now I have the option to delete the component and that is good because to be able to delete a component you have to unlink all of the instances from the component. So the component cannot have any instances as you can see I have zero instances right here and now I'm able to go ahead and click on delete on the component and I can go ahead and delete the component if I want. But yeah guys, basically that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So guys, thanks for watching, take care and bye.